Next up, Matthew Dunlap is a software developer for the Odom Institute at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. Before working at UNC, he was a developer for Dataverse with IQSS, and we shared an office for two or three years. So yep. please take it away. <laughs> Matt. Hi. Let's see here. Let me see if I can screen share for the first time ever. OK, share the PowerPoint. Oh, that's not quite what I meant to do. Eh, we'll do it like that anyways. OK, so uh, here's my presentation on uh, confirmable reproducible research, Karere, data curation workflows utilizing containerization. And as Phil said, I am a developer for the Odom Institute. Uh, OK, there we go. Uh, so there are some problems with science data. Uh, publication data and code is usually not verified before it is published, and the current workflows for curation and verification require many manual steps. Uh, the different groups, the authors and the curators, are emailing back and forth. Uh, the code is like run in different environments, and uh, when the stuff is submitted, it may not run for the curator. So the solution is Karere. Uh, it's an open source web-based uh, data curation environment. It uh, supports complex data curation and verification workflows. Uh, for the current development, which is work in progress, we're targeting one workflow, uh, but as we move forward, we will target more. Uh, we're managing and hosting containerized notebooks so scientists and curators can work in the same environments, or at least during the start of the curation process, use the same environments to go back and forth. Uh, then at the end, the data is deposited and the notebook info is deposited in Dataverse. Uh, we use a uh, binder and uh, repo to binder, binder hub, uh, and GitLab to run Jupyter Notebooks. So I want to take most of this time to walk you guys through a data curation workflow, because I think that's really useful to explore why these sort of useful or tools are useful. Uh, it's admittedly somewhat complex, but I'll walk through step by step. Uh, so at the beginning, the editor of a publication creates a new manuscript. Uh, for us, a manuscript is the, uh, the root object in Karere. Uh, it stores the metadata, uh, any notes. Um, it's like the, the overarching object for the publication data and code. Uh, they then invite or add an author to uh, Karere. Uh, the authors, if uh, they need to, they create an account, and then they create a manuscript submission. The submission stores that round of the code and data along with um, any additional metadata relevant to that specific round. Uh, when they submit this, it gets passed off to a curator. Uh, the curator reviews the submission to make sure that uh, the data and code is there, the metadata lines up. They may do an initial run of the code. Uh, and if there are any issues, which there almost always are, uh, the issue is submitted to the editor, who then reviews it, and if needed, passes that back on to the author. Uh, if there, when there aren't any issues, uh, a verifier then gets the code and data. Uh, the verifiers are more domain knowledgeable to the specific, to the specific fields and are tasked with running the code. Uh, they're usually like postdocs and graduate students uh, at various universities. Uh, if there are issues there, that also gets passed back to the editor who communicates it to the author. Uh, once there are, the issues are resolved and everything runs in the uh, container, uh, the manuscript is finalized and a draft uh, version of the data set is put up in Dataverse, waiting for the editor to publish the article. At that point, the uh, code gets published, the code and data gets published as well. So if you want more info on a data curation workflow, I recommend looking, uh, these slides will be up later. Um, this is a good place to look at details on a curation workflow. So our tool is very much a work in progress uh, and it, it works end to end now, but we need to do a lot more. I wanted to give a very simple, or a, give a screenshot of like the landing page for the tool that we're working on, uh, showing how the different groups will explore the manuscripts and the submissions and do the various actions, including launching the Jupyter Notebooks. So uh, our current goal is to get the current workflow and Binder Hub integration ready for production and use at UNC. Uh, once we do that, we want to expand to support many more workflows 
and allow it to be as customizable as possible for different, uh, different groups like folks here. Uh, we also want to support deeper integration with Dataverse, such as badging, uh, the ability to launch from Dataverse into CoreRay directly, uh, et cetera. Um, I have a GitHub repo if you want to follow along with the development process. Uh, anyways, thanks a lot. Um, thanks to the Alfred Sloan Foundation and to everyone on my team. I couldn't have done this without them. Thank you. Thanks, Matthew.